Samagi episode 3. Good episode, but I have a lot of uh, gripes with it. I'm a little uh, annoyed by something. So basically, I read the manga, as I said I would. I read about five chapters thus far. And Aniplex is breezing through chapters and are going way too quick. First of all, the manga, chapter one hasn't even been animated. They just basically skipped over that. And okay, there was something in there that was a little too adult. Like you have Aladdin like bare-breasted uh, on, a, on a woman that is bare-breasted and he's sucking on it. So I understand that. But I mean, they're going way too quick. This particular episode, the pacing is too fast. In one episode, they conquered uh, an entire no too quick in my opinion it was good I enjoyed it uh, I love the bat the battle between uh, Morgiana and when she went up against Aladdin and Aladdin beasting and everything that it's great Aladdin he's awesome he's quickly becoming one of my favorite little kids shown in characters but they're going way too quick what why are they going so quick I don't understand that I mean five chapters and they're changing things around as well there were certain events like in episode one. Morgiana wasn't even supposed to be in there when the little girl fell inside that big uh, rose thingy that was eating wine and something. She wasn't even in there. And this episode, like, to me, I haven't read this far yet, but I think, again, they are just going way too quick. I read somewhere that in three episodes, they covered 16 chapters. That is too much. They are going way too quick. But aside from that, the episode, I did like a lot of things that went down. The fights were pretty awesome. Uh, Aladdin, he... It, it, he's becoming just such a cool character. I'm really liking it because he's a funny little thing. You know, typical shonen, but just so different because the character is just so cool and the setting changes everything as well. And for them to ca uh, conquer a dungeon in one episode is... It's too fast, but at the same time, it's pretty interesting as well. Now, I was confused at the ending, so please, if somebody could clear this up for me, that would be awesome. At the end, they're floating away on what seemingly is, I don't know, a magic energy, magic carpet, I don't know what they're floating away on, but then all of a sudden at the end of the episode, they get separated, even though they say they're going to go on more adventures, and on one half, you got Alibaba with all his gold, uh, you got more Guiana somewhere, and then you got Aladdin in a whole other place, and judging from the episode preview, Aladdin doesn't even know who he is, so what the heck happened after they conquered the dungeon where they separated because of the, uh, the Dejin, that, you know, extra Dejin that was there, the big guy, um, did he separate them or something? I don't know. But we also learned quite a bit of things in this episode as well, which is interesting. We learned that Aladdin is a Magi, which I was talking about in the last episode, you know, what's going on with that. Basically, he's supposed to select the next king. And this is my theory, but I think that eventually Alibaba is going to be a king, and he's going to be selected by Aladdin. Now, it seems as though Aladdin was once somebody else or something, and he doesn't quite remember or understand. Or, you know, there's something, a memory loss with him because when they keep addressing him and when the guy, the slave master that was holding on to Morgiana was addressing him, he, like, please make me into a king. He doesn't understand. He's like, what are you talking about? I don't know what you're saying. So I, I want to learn more about that. So that's something that hopefully they expand upon in the near future. Um, it was crazy that him and the uh, big guy that get, kept getting stabbed, it se they seemingly die in this episode, I'm assuming, because he said, he told Morgiana, he chopped her chains and said, go. So seemingly they die. That's actually very good to kill off characters already. If they are indeed dead, if they died due to the dungeon collapsing and everything, that's crazy. Uh, it just seems that everything is going so quick, and that's my big complaint. Like, why is Alibaba with a shit ton of gold already in episode 3 when that was his big dream, you know, to have all this money and stuff? I don't know. To me, it's just the pacing is going too quick, in my opinion. But what do you guys think? Overall, it was a solid episode. I really liked it, but the, the pacing is too quick. Too, too quick. But what do you guys think? Is it too quick? Are they changing too many things? I read some of the manga, and they're changing events around. Characters are being in places they shouldn't be. And, you know, they, they skipped a chapter. And so, you know, what, what do you guys think about that? If you've read the manga or if you've seen this particular episode, do you think it's going way too quick that they conquered a dungeon in one episode? Just think about that for a minute, you know? Um, but, again, getting some good info on Aladdin, is, is that was a really nice thing that we learned more about him. And that was uh, important, I guess you could say, in developing future stuff. But from the looks of it, this anime isn't going to be ongoing. Maybe 28, 26 episodes, 30 at the most. Because that's the way they, they are seemingly. If they covered 16 chapters in 3 episodes, this isn't going to be ongoing at all. But, again, I don't want to ramble on too much. I enjoyed the episode overall. Pacing too fast. Animation beautiful. Music beautiful. I love the opening. Uh, that's all I have for this review. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thumbs up for that awesome battle. Morgiana versus uh, uh, Aladdin. Freaking awesome. And also... Uh, 
before I stop this review, I want to say that we we see how far Morgana would go. She was just about to kill Alibaba, but Aladdin stopped her by making the sword disappear. That was crazy. But yeah, I'm going too much. I'm for Neville World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.